Hey, how's it going today? Uh, I'm AJ. I think I've met you before. Um, I'm sure I have somewhere down the road because I've been here for 26 years. So uh, my main role here is running the warehouse. I also do some sales functions, get out in, in the field and things of that nature. But this is my main deal is dealing with the drains. Uh, and of course, now we deal with Watts before we had Smith, but we've been doing Watts since 2013. Uh, we'll go through, I hear CARES is a concern. So I'll go through uh, how Watts does it. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, the packaging is less, which is nice. Uh, I guess one of the first things to know about Watts is they epoxy coat all their iron. It's not an option, so you're not adding for ARIO. They epoxy everything, including the carrier fitting. So as you can see, it's very clean looking. It's, you know, you don't get all dirty messing around with it or hauling it. Um, another nice thing about the Watts closet carriers is basically two pieces. You're going to get a fitting and you're going to get a box. That's it. The only, only other part you would get if this was a back-to-back -back fitting, you'd get two boxes, naturally, because you're hanging two toilets. So there's not a separate box for the nipple kit. There's, you know, so where you're hauling like four boxes out for one carrier, you're gonna get a box and a fitting. Okay, what's in that box is the face plate, uh, the nipple, and then your hardware. This is your attaching hardware, your finished hardware, all in one package. So these are the items that are in this box. The big difference between what you're used to dealing with and what Watts does is they use a compression nipple. So you can see this is smooth. There's no threads on it. And then I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, but there is a rubber seal in here that's about three quarters of an inch thick. So instead of screwing the nipple in, you're simply pushing it in. And then once it's set where it needs to be, you're just tightening these bolts, just slightly past hand tight, because that's such a huge sealing surface, it'll lock this nipple right in. The only issue we really ever have with this is everybody thinks tighter is better, so they over-tighten these and they might bust an ear off this compression ring. Um, that's really the only problem we ever had. Um, I think this system's a lot better. I can tell you, since 2013, I have never had one instance where somebody said where the nipple connected into the plate it was leaking these do not leak there's just too much of a sealing surface the other thing that's different especially if you're putting these things together in the field is as you see this faceplate now is how it is in the box they assemble the rods on here for you now let's say you're doing 50 of these things just think of the savings that's giving you where you don't have guys screwing in rods nuts and bolts They've already done it for you. You simply pull this joker out, bolt it to the plate, get your height right, and on you go. So that's another uh, nice part of the closet carriers. As far as stock, here in Chantilly, we keep roughly 80 lefts, 80 rights, and around 40 doubles. So unless we get some huge run on something or there's some reason the factory's low, that's basically what we keep here. All right, we're moving on to the lav carriers. I think you'll really like this for a number of reasons. Um, the biggest reason to me, what makes it easy for us around here, and it'll make it easier for those on the job, even the wholesalers that handle these, the lav carrier is in one box. The complete carrier is in this box right here. So you're not getting a rack of uprights, a pallet of sleeve kits, and then another pallet with the fixture arms on it. Everything is contained in this one box. You order 10 lav carriers, you get 10 of these boxes. Very easy. Now, we call this a track lav. Um, here's the upright. Like again, like I mentioned with the closet carrier, everything's epoxy coated, even the steel uprights. Um, I'm gonna show this to you. I don't know how well it's gonna come out on the camera, but these are offset. So you can flip this upright around and it allows you to run a line set either in front of it or behind it, uh, or you can cut the distance. So uh, that's a nice feature. I've never seen this with anyone else. Um, so these are your uprights that bolt in the floor. And instead of having your typical setup where you have a sleeve here and then there's this little flimsy tie rod going over to the other one, and then you've got to cut the tie rod to get the spread on your lav, we call this a track lav. 
So instead of that flimsy rod, you have this. So this is the piece that slides across, it's fixed. So what's nice about that is you have a set point in the floor. You don't have to worry about the spread when you're lagging the, uh, the uprights in the floor because it's set to the same distance every time. The way you set your spread on your, on your, for your lav is this simply slides on here and moves back and forth. And hell, let's say you're out on the job and all of a sudden they decide they want to change sinks. Well, you don't have to rip everything out of the floor. You can just adjust this sleeve. So that's a real nice aspect of it. And as you can see, these sleeves are 10 inches long. Um, so what that allows, you don't have to worry about extensions. So you set this on. When the uh, finished wall goes up on most lavatories, you just hack this off about an inch and a half past the finished wall. So you don't have to worry, oh, I have a thick chase. I got to get all these extensions. This has been designed to go through an eight inch block wall out of the box. So you don't have to worry about that. And then the arm simply uh, slides in, and then it's, it's held together or held, locked in place with two set screws. You got your usual two leveling screws, and then your locking device down here. Um, so again, I mean, the biggest thing to me, especially in keeping up with these things on a job, is everything's in one carton. Um, and then it's nice that you can, you can fix the spread on here. So when you're on the job, you can lag these all in the same exact place. You can get any, uh, anybody to just put these in the floor for you and anchor them without worrying about the spread. So I didn't pull a urinal carrier out here because I'm sure you know what it is. It's very similar. But the biggest thing I want to mention about that too is it's in one box. So... Your lab carrier is in one box, your urinal carrier is in one box, so your urinal carrier, you're not getting another rack of uprights with another bunch of boxes that have the bearing plates and such in them. So what's really nice about the lab and urinal carriers is they are in one box. And I think that about covers it for this. All right, I know you didn't ask to see this, but I, I wanted to show it. Um, once we get these in front of an architect or an engineer, it sells itself. Um, this is the Watts combination roof drain, roof and overflow drain. So it's all one piece. And I know you've seen these before. Um, most people do it, they'll get like a big pan and they'll put them side by side. What's nice about this is you can see the compactness. So this basically takes up the same space as a regular roof, regular Z100, Smith 1010. Watts RD300. It roughly takes up the same space. Um, you're only doing one penetration, which is what the b building owners and such like. Instead of having to do two, we're just doing one and we're doing a smaller one. Um, these are available three, four, five, six inch. And then they have what they call an RD800, which is eight inch and 10 inch versions. It's, it's a big, big joker. Same, same options are available. They have a sump receiver pan. Uh, they have a pan which you can you can jack this whole thing up if you have thick insulation. Um, they have a it comes standard with a ductile dome. They also have aluminum, and then they also have the versions where you sometimes they want these cut where the overflow is. They have a cut type as well. But uh, you just set this in front of a building owner or an architect or engineer, and you don't have to say much else. It 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 sells itself. And uh, like I say, the penetration is small. Um, and we sell quite a bit of them. We've, this is almost standard over in Prince William County on the schools now. So, and then we put a lot on the fire departments and such. So just wanted to show you this, that this is available. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. 